Okay, so really quickly so you understand why the Bible, okay, is actually about martial arts. Again, look at the martial art angles or the warrior angles and what's limiting them. Their kind of body structure, and their mind-body connection. Okay, so God didn't choose these guys to be the top martial arts. Now look at this. This guy, his body's a little bit more kind of um, agile than those guys. This uh, is, I guess, is supposed to be Malcolm X breaking a Nazi thing. This guy's called Transcendent Master. Okay, human cleric. And over here, I think I believe it, I believe it says Life Link. Okay. And again, this guy was a Muslim, right? So religion. Religion. And this guy is some kind of Buddhist or something. Religion. Here we have Transcendent Strike. Okay, Dragon Ball Z. Transcendent Strike, right? Otherworldly. Here we have Claimed by the Gods and this Jean-Claude Van Damme with a female that almost is like the spitting image of this female. And I made a few typos here, let's not worry about this. This is a, a Roman version of Horus, an imitation, showing that white people wanted to imitate black people, which goes back to these statues and how these guys, family lines, were jealous of the Royal African Falcon, right? Falcon, that's a Roman Horus martial art order with a Roman body type instead of the Narmer palette, a, a, you know, a, a kind of uh, black African mixed body type. And again, even, you know, I'm not racist, this guy's body structure is also limited by his structure. To limit it to do what, right? So the ideal, obviously, about 6'4", very maneuverable. And again, if you're still a naysayer because you're an idiot or something, I'll bring you back to this, right, where you have these guys are, are in some kind of warrior outfit. There's different weapons, right? This battle axe, this, okay, angels work angles. Those are fallen angels, kind of beta Lucifer right there. And... Um, Again, the deities are draining real quickly. And over here, we have David and Goliath, right? Uh, down here, we have uh, Moses kills an Egyptian. Moses defends the daughters of Midian. Um, it says, warrior king David, right? Jesus says the root and offspring of David. Okay, we have Michael defeating this. Jesus chasing the money lenders out. So it's overkill that the story is about Relig a religious kind of spiritual force in a warrior. Again, the angels, right? Okay, this guy's even carrying a cross. Okay. The Lord is the warrior, the Lord is his name, and all the scriptures I, I quote all the time. There's no way around it. And of course, the admiration of potential wise. You know, Americans are really pagans and fake Christians when they won't obey God through me, and sexual control has to do with it. And this is a kind of this is a pagan story superimposed on the idea of angels. This is erotic desire. Eros Van Damme, this erotic desire in the movie. He's not a good Christian in the movie. He's just an erotic desire knucklehead. Okay, and this is a kind of, you know, she was more attractive in the movie than that is. That's a kind of cartoonization of it. They do a lot of editing pictures these days. You know, people don't look like they used to look. A lot of songs on YouTube don't sound like they used to sound. They've done a lot of that kind of stuff.